Hey everyone, welcome back to KC3D Sparks. Today we are going to be creating some basic dice. So I saw on YouTube that there were a lot of tutorials on how to make D6s with the typical dots on the side, but not so much how to get the other shapes that you usually use for role playing games, especially the ones with the actual numbers on them rather than the dots. So first thing you'll want to do is when you're in Blender, I'm going to do go ahead and delete that cube real quick. Go to file and user preferences and you're going to want to add this add on. All you have to do is start typing extra and it pops right up. Check that box and hit save user settings because this is going to add a whole nother menu to your add object. So when you hit shift A, you'll still go into mesh but you'll go down here to math function and do regular solid. And what that does is, you know, it'll be like, oh, it's just a regular cube, not quite. So there's this other menu over here on your toolbar. What you'll be looking for is the source. So right now is the hexahedron. I assume I'm pronouncing that right. But um, this is actually where you get all of your dice shapes. So you got your D20, your D12, your D10, your D6, and your D4 right here. So you can select any of those that you'd like for your initial shape and it will save you ton of time. So all right there for you so you don't have to do anything crazy. Make them from scratch. They are right there, which is awesome. So I am going to go ahead and just show you guys how to add numbers to a D6. I thought it'd be pretty easy starting point. So of course you can, uh, you can follow along with whichever shape you'd like, but I'm going to use the D6. So what I want to do basically is just tab into edit mode. I'm going to hit control B and we're just going to bevel these edges a little bit. So it can be finicky sometimes for some reason. I don't know what's going on, but once you get it, you know, just find what you're happy with. So it's not completely sharp edges. And you know, I think I like that one. So cool. Beveled edges, really easy. That's all I'm going to do. Of course, my inspiration for this is all of those fancy dice on Shapeways. They're amazing. So I'm not going to print these myself since I just have plastic filament. I don't think the weighting would be quite what I'm looking for. Um, so I'm probably not going to print these myself. Hopefully later on I can add a bunch of fancy details or something and purchase them as metal dice later on. But these are the basics that I was teaching myself and I thought you guys would be interested in learning as well. So I already went ahead and created all of the numbers. So basically what I did is I just did shift A and text. Once you have your text in, you can type your numbers, but you want to make sure that you have the right font that you want to use. So I'm just using regular Arial. So once you have your text selected, this font tab comes up and you can add in whichever font you want. So you'll have your regular font here. You'll hit the file navigation button and you'll navigate through your directory to your font tab and you can pick out what font you want to use. I'm just using Arial since this is a basic die and I'm not doing anything fancy to it. So I thought it would be appropriate. Okay, so now that I have all of that, I have all of my numbers already set up. Basically to get the template laid out, all I did was Googled six-sided die template and all of these things popped up. So I went ahead and did that, followed it, hopefully properly. If not, I'll fix it in a moment. Um, or after the video. <laughs> this is more just showing you guys how to assemble it. So follow your template. Make sure you get your numbers all set up properly. So once you have them set up, you can select everything except for the cube and then you'll want to convert them Alt C and mesh from curve data. So then they'll get all triangulated and you can actually tab into them and edit them. Select all the vertices. E to extrude, and we're just going to extrude that up. Two notches. So basically holding control, going up two, so that way it's nice and deep. And we're just gonna do that for each number. Thank you. 
Now that I have all of my numbers extruded, I'm just going to place them properly, make sure they're centered in the cube that they are on and or in the square that they are on and make sure that they are in deep enough so it's a similar depth for each of them and then I can boolean that boolean them all together. Okay, now that we have them all in place, I hit them all and we are going to use difference. Copy that. Perfect. Okay, now we have our perfect cutouts. Go ahead and apply all of those. Boop. And there is our die. So of course you could add your numbers first thing and then go in and add a bunch of details add some cool carvings in between the numbers or something to hollow it out and then add the solidify modifier to make it thick enough to print or um, you could do your design first and add the numbers into the design itself instead of doing the design around it anything you could really think of so obviously your creativity is your own limitation and you guys can go nuts with this so if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments below and I appreciate any feedback or if you guys have a better way of centering the numbers rather than just kind of eyeballing it, I would love to hear any kind of tips and tricks for that. Other than that, I really appreciate you guys watching this video, giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel and I will see you guys next week.